Greetings, Mystics and Selena Files. Miss Melinda here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon taking place on Monday, July 17th. It's a new moon in Cancer happening at 133 United States Central Standard Time. That's 133 p.m. I've already pulled some cards to provide us with guidance to best traverse the energies of this new moon. I am reading with my Morgan Greer deck today. I've pulled quite a few cards a little bit more than I usually do. These are just the cards that wanted to come out. So I'll do my best to uh, condense this reading. The first card that I have is the Four of Swords. This is going to be followed by the Five of Swords. The Four of Swords followed by the Five of Swords. The next card is the Eight of Swords. Lots of swords here. So this is the first part of our message. We may be experiencing some heavy emotions. That is not a surprise for the Cancer new moon and for Cancer season in general. But we may be feeling like people and circumstances are against us. We may be feeling like we are blocked, like we are unable to move or take the actions that we want to take, that we're unable to move forward. And we may feel that this is due to the actions of others. However, the best guidance for us is going to be to examine our own actions and our own mental landscape, our own emotional landscape, in order to ascertain how um, our perceptions and our feelings and what's going on with us um, in our minds and in our hearts may be contributing to our circumstances. This is not to self-blame. This is to self-assess. And this may also be for the healing process so that we can move forward. It's a good idea to reevaluate what our um perceptions are, what our mindset is, what our outlook is, what we're kind of projecting. Is there something going on inside of us at this time that is giving us the idea or the belief that we are on the outside of things and that we can't um, achieve or attain or grasp or be a part of the things that we want, the things that we desire, or the circumstances that we want, the circumstances that we desire. We may also be coming out of a period of a bit of a heartbreak or some really real, um, maybe even intense real life challenges or obstacles that have gotten us down. If we're feeling mentally and emotional, emotionally exhausted, if we are depleted, then we mustn't beat ourselves up for resting. We mustn't beat ourselves up for not accomplishing the things that we want to accomplish or that we feel like we have to be accomplishing or that we should be accomplishing. So this kind of um, mindset needs to be addressed as well, or um, perhaps looked out for around this new moon. The last piece of guidance that I will touch on that has to do with these first three cards is to walk away from situations that are a power struggle. So is there a situation in your life or a circumstance in your life that's coming to the surface now that's um, bubbling up, that's coming to a head, that's coming to a climax, um, that's coming to a boiling point where you are just beating your head up against a, a wall, where you are um, continually trying to push forth effort and that effort isn't returning anything to you. This is most likely in a relationship or in interpersonal relationships, but interpersonal relationships obviously can also apply to business. It can also apply to work. Um, this can apply to any area of life where you feel that you have been trying to accomplish something and you just keep coming up against the same brick wall and you know that you can win, quote unquote, win. You know that you can break through, that you know that you can make progress. But at what cost is this progress going to be to you? This may be getting to a point where you are so emotionally, mentally drained that it's affecting your health that is affecting the rest of your life, that is affecting your important relationships, that is affecting the things that bring you joy and fulfillment in life. 
So some assessment around this kind of circumstance as well, maybe called for around this new moon in cancer, just perhaps it's better for you to walk away from the power struggle. It doesn't matter if you're right. It matters, of course, in the scheme of things. But if you're right and you win, you know, quote unquote win, is it really going to be worth it? In this circumstance, the end result may not be worth it because this may be taking so much away from you energetically and so much away from other aspects of your life. So these feelings and these circumstances may be arising, but let's move on to our last four cards, which are the second half of this reading and which offer some guidance about how to care for ourselves, how to overcome these obstacles and challenges and how to move forward in a positive way, really gaining the, the wisdom, the guidance, the spiritual and energetic support that we can gain from this new moon in Cancer. The first card that I have here is the Four of Pentacles. There we go, the four of pentacles. The next card I have is the king of pentacles. Then we are going with the eight of pentacles. Are you seeing a pattern here? And then we are ending with the four of rods or wands. So okay, straight away, the pattern is almost all swords, then almost all pentacles with one wands card to bring things to fruition. Um, we're also seeing an iteration between fours and eights. So fours and then a combination of fours. And so we're talking about our stability. We're talking about the things in life that offer us a strong structure, that offer us balance. And we're looking at balancing out these energies, this air energy and earth energy. So straight away, the guidance is to get grounded, to focus on the earth energy, the stability, the stable foundations in order to move through the challenging emotions, the challenging mental states and the challenging circumstances, especially those feelings of being blocked. Um, how do you get in tune with earth energy? There are so many ways. I'll also link um, a video that I have about grounding However, you know, spending time in nature, focusing on your root chakra, um, doing grounding meditations, walking barefoot, uh, swimming, things of this nature. Stable foundations also relate to all of those things that sustain us and nurture us in life. What is most nurturing and nourishing for you? Get in touch with that at this time. The, one of the guidance, one of the pieces of guidance that's coming to me intuitively is about literal nourishment, the nourishment that comes to us through food. This would be a really good time to practice some kitchen witchery to, um, with intention, gain nourishment from your food, gain stability from your food, gain a strong, consistent stable support energetically and spiritually from your food. So to work intentionally and magically with your food at this time, but also from a practical perspective to really focus on what is most nourishing for you, what's good for you, what does your body need? What does your health need? Um, taking some time to slow down and to do some cooking for yourself and perhaps for your family or your loved ones in a way that is very intentional, that is very magical. I'm getting the image and the sensation of hot broths. I know it's really hot outside, but I'm getting the, the um, mental imagery and the um, empathic sensations for hot broth, like bone broth, miso broths, um, rich nourishing broths um, to, to ease the nervous system, to um, nourish the, the skeletal system, to nourish the foundations of our body. And again, I'm being drawn to that root chakra sensation in combination with the physical act of eating and taking care of our bodies and how we can put more intention, more magic into those things. That's going to be an excellent grounding practice for this Cancer New Moon. Now, I'm also going to approach this from a very practical perspective in a, in a slightly different way, which is this would be a good time to attend to those 
foundations that really support your life overall. So this means our financial foundations that were our material foundations, the things that contribute to offering you stability in your daily life. So maybe budgeting, maybe um, looking at increasing your income or increasing your material wellness, your material well-being. I am taking fully into consideration that there are many different ways of living. So perhaps this is going to mean for you strengthening your community, strengthening your housing situation, putting more energy and effort into your intentional community, putting more energy and effort into the people that you work together with in partnership to help build those strong foundations, those material um, roots and those very practical things that nourish you and take care of you on a regular basis. This is going to be a great time to strengthen all of that. This is also a good time to tap into the um, paternal energies. So your inner father or your actual father or anyone in your life that plays a um, fatherly role, a mentorship kind of role, um, caretakers, Perhaps your inner child is needing a bit more care at this time, and you want to turn your attention to this kind of um, protective energy. We can also tap into protective energy through our spirit guides, of course, or our benevolent ancestors, um, our guardian spirits, whatever the case may be. But I'm seeing that we're needing, we may be needing around this new moon, these feelings of protection and stability. So you you can look at fortifying that within yourself, fortifying those energies within yourself from several different directions or several different perspectives. We've talked about magically and energetically. We, we've talked about the practical care for our physical bodies. And now we're talking about spiritual care for different parts of our, our soul bodies or our spiritual bodies. I'm also seeing that it's a good time to put in some extra effort, some extra work to, um, to stabilize any of these areas of our lives. Okay, so this is after we do the self-care. This is after we do the mental and emotional care. This is after we do the spiritual and energetic care. Then it's going to be a really good time to put our contemplations through this phase into action to put in some hard work and some hard effort leading us to the future foundations that we are seeking. Remember, we can't build anything unless we have a strong foundation first, unless we are rooted, unless we are grounded. This um, phase is going to be taking us through the emotions that we need to work with, the energies that we need to work with um, to break through any challenges within ourselves so that we can build a stronger foundation. And after we are to that point, then we can put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, work smart, not hard, right? A lot of effort towards um, continuing to build on that foundation. Keep in mind that the stability, the support, the consistency that you're seeking within yourself, within your material world, within your relationships is right around the corner, but you've got to get through this energy first. Don't be afraid of the hard work once you've done the self-care because everything that you put into it is going to pay off and then some. The payoff is going to be bigger than you expect. So much love and many blessings for this new moon in Cancer. Be well.